we're living in a time where we're more divided than ever, and we need a common vocabulary to talk about those differences. But that can be hard when we're not on the same page. It's why KPBS is launching a new series called Let's Talk About It, where we answer your questions. We start today with Mike Milton. He's a retired Navy man who identifies as white and a lefty. Center left. Politically speaking, that is. He says he pays attention to the news and current affairs. But lately, there's one word he's been hearing a lot of that's got him scratching his head. Woke. I think it shows how wokeism destroys everything fun in our society. It's a word he mostly hears used by conservative media, and he's not sure what it means. One question I do have is, what is wokeness? The truth is, the word woke has lived many lives and iterations. Right around the early 1960s, 70s, when uh, you had a lot of black power movements and kind of civil rights issues going on at that time. Uh, it wasn't called woke, it was called consciousness. That's Dr. Demarie Smith. He's a professor of rhetoric and media studies at San Diego State University. He says the word stems from the civil rights era. At that time, black people particularly started thinking about what are the ways in which our government is not necessarily protecting us as citizens? For him, the real meaning of being woke is about connecting the dots. To me means basically having a consciousness about some of the systemic issues that are taking place that have unintended consequences that kind of seem as though it may be a good thing. But again, there's things that we're not um, necessarily thinking about. In other words... It really just means to think critically about issues that impact us all, like education, healthcare, and policing. The word woke, though, became more mainstream in 2015, with more and more people using it that didn't know the word's origin, says Smith. The everyday white folks, as I would say, and uh, they started kind of using that terminology about, you know, oh, I'm woke, I'm woke, I'm white, but I'm woke, you know what I mean? Which is when the word began to change and become less a way of thinking and more like a badge to signal to other people that you weren't racist. Levi's heard that if you're not woke, it's bad. Even Saturday Night Live got in on the joke with its parody on a Levi's ad for woke jeans. Fast forward to today, where woke is being used by conservative media outlets to describe just about everything. The mission statement of wokeism, of Marxism, of the BLM movement is to, to destroy the nuclear family. Smith says he's not surprised to see woke take on yet another meaning. You know, like all words, they can be weaponized. In this current context, woke has become a catch-all for anything deemed progressive or inclusive. And the problem when you hear woke uh, is, I would say, at least for Fox News, they kind of see it as more like folks who have this like kind of socialist agenda where... Uh, that at least that's their perspective. And so anything that they don't deem is correct, it's considered woke. And that's how Mike Milton first heard of the word woke, light years away from its original meaning. So I called him back up and shared this story with him. Educated me that it goes back not just to the, whatever that was, 90s or early 2000s, but back to the 60s and early 70s, perhaps. Dr. Demarie Smith anticipates we'll be hearing the word woke a lot this election season. It's why he wants us to question who's using the word woke and why, so we can push past buzzwords and have conversations about real issues. Christina Kim, KPBS News.